One of the other things that we're working on and we've already talked about is a number of years ago, there's a 1% sales tax for tools and machinery. The Board of County Commissioners that was in office at that time made the decision to not exercise the option and implement that tax in Elbert County. One of the reasons Lincoln County's been able to do a lot is they've been able to use that 1% sales tax, and that is a commercial tax, on any oil well equipment, all of those wind towers that are out there. They draw revenue on an annual basis from that sales tax. So one of the things we're looking at is what do we have to do to look at implementing that in Elbert County? It may be as simple as just passing a resolution and saying, King's X, now we want to, now we want to use it, most likely what it's gonna mean is you're going to see it on the 2013 ballot because it may be a Tabor issue. So we're working through those right now with legal staff to figure out which way we can do it. So I, I hope that answers your question. Just to give you a quick example, we talked about the well on Maggot, using a 1% um, tool tax. Um, that's about a $10 million well, according to the gentleman from Southwest that I talked to, and about 4, 000, 4 million, excuse me, of that well is what we call tangibles. It's the piping, it's the metal, it's the stuff that will remain on site in Elbert County, in our property, in our, in our county, following uh, the end of you know, this, this drill. That 1%, if, if we had had that in place, or if it were applied, would have resulted in $40,000 in revenue to the county. We could use $40,000 right now. <laughs> and we can use $40,000 for every subsequent well to do all the kinds of things, improve our infrastructure, protect our infrastructure, and all the things that come with the challenges and the opportunities of oil and gas exploration. So it's really important that we talk about that next year.